Welcome everyone to the debut of 901 Wrestling at Minglewood Hall. I am your host and your hero, Kevin Cerrito, joined alongside, as always, from Bluff City Media's Anthony Sane. What's up, Anthony? Man, I'm good, Cerrito. I'm glad to be here, man. I feel like everybody's like kind of up uptight, a little tense right now. We're in the new building. Think y'all scared y'all may break something. Y'all may tear something up or something. Hey. We paid, we good, man. Y'all can do what you gotta do. So make some noise, 901. What's up? Y'all good? All right. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the response I'm used to, man. That's the response I'm used to. All right. Yeah, I know that's right. It's been a little over 30 days since the last time yeah, all of man. us got together. And uh, my goodness. So we missed y'all. <laughs> we did. We did. We missed you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Well, so much has changed, but so much is uh, also like we, no, we're here. We're here. We're here now on Sundays. Yeah, Sunday. Five yeah. o'clock, Minglewood Hall. Kids get in free. Are there any kids here? Are there? Where the kids in? Where my kids in? Make some noise. That's what I'm talking about. hard people at. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Yeah, I love it. I love it. You guys look great out there. Y'all look great. All right. Well, so much could change by the end of the night as far as the uh, landscape of the 901 because every title every is on, on the, line. the line tonight, including the tag team championships because you know who's here to defend them. Abshano's in the building. Make some noise. Make some noise. Yes, sir. So if you remember, Top Shot is, they've already given a rematch to yep. Twisted Steel, but yep. somehow Billy Robertson has weaseled his way in saying that Twisted Steel didn't request that rematch, mm -hmm. so they get one more chance tonight. Right. But this is the last chance for Twisted Steel to go for the tag team gold against Top Shot, as that will happen here uh, later on on this Sunday. Also, the 18-19 championship will be decided in a match. Saying, I don't remember the last time we've seen a triple threat match yeah, here in the 9 while. It's been a while since we've seen one of those. The Merc Chris Evans comes in as a champion in a match where he does not have to be pinned to lose that belt tonight, man. So he's the, 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 uh, uh, he's definitely stacked up against him, but he says he's not ready for it at all. He came on my show this week and said that he's not, he's not concerned about that at all. The Merc uh, won that belt at the final battle at Black Lodge, mm -hmm. and he's been going all around town, talking and talking and talking. Can he uh, live up to all that talk tonight? He's, he's calling himself Minglewood Merc yeah, already. Minglewood Merc is in the building tonight. He man. hasn't even been in the ring in this building right. yet, but he's Minglewood <laughs> Merc all of a sudden. Yeah. He's got yeah, to, he's a champ, man. He can say that. He, he, can talk like he that. is the champ as of this moment. He's got right. to go up against uh, here the original 1819 uh, champion, Walker 13. He it goes back a few 901 eras, right. but uh, Walker's the original guy to hold that belt. And the, we also have the most recent champion in Ken Dang. Right. All uh, will be in this triple threat match coming up uh, later on. And the top title in the territory. Uh, will be up for grab. Kevin Bless, what a shocker! Yeah, man. Wild Good. match, wild match last time. Kevin Bless cast in his uh, wild card rumble ticket, and he he came in, and he cast in, and he won. And he's here taking on Bobby Ford tonight. Yeah, he he played his wild card and beat Shane Schaffner of all people. So Bobby uh, tapped out to Shane. Uh, moments later. Uh, Shane falls to uh, Kevin Bless, uh, as, and that's how, that's how it all ended last time. Right. And tonight, we are going to end tonight with Kevin Bless defending the 901 Wrestling Championship. He feels like he's got the weight of the city on his back. He thinks he's got the support of the city. I think he's right. Yeah, I, think I think he's, he's right. Yeah. But we're going to get to our opener. When we left off, there was one match we knew we were going to see when 901 Wrestling resumed. And if you were uh, not at the last show, uh, let's take a look to see how we got here to our opening contest.
Here. Yeah, do you think this has uh, uh, been watching you over the past few months here with Coach Roscoe? I mean, do you think this has uh, been working out the way that you had hoped? You know what, Kevin? I'm so glad you... Hey, I'm just saying, I'll be talking for him. I'll be talking for Tyler, all right? This thing you have going with Tyler Lemesters, it's not working, Roscoe. He's just a kid. There's nothing you can teach him. All right. You know when I come out here, usually business is handled. This is no different. I'm listening to this in the back, and before y'all get carried on too long, I know these folks want some more wrestling, right? So, I tell you, I heard you him hawing, and I heard what you were telling him, and I'll be honest, I can't say that he's totally wrong. Tyler, you're gonna wanna hear this. I've got a great idea. See, I am also in the belief with a lot of these people that you never really needed Roscoe. I am under the belief, like the rest of these people, that you've always had what you've needed all along. I am so confident in you that these two men, Roscoe Monroe and Norman Meklikoff, when we hit our next date, are gonna have a match. And I'm so confident in you that you are the special guest referee. So look, 901 Wrestling, you stay connected because that match is going down as soon as we pop up. All right, so let's get to our opening contest. We have a special guest referee, Tyler LaMasters, uh, as we see it, Norman Meklikoff battle, uh, Roscoe Monroe. I'm going to send it down to our ring announcer, Greg Ratliff. 901, the opening contest tonight is scheduled for one fall. One fall! With a 15-minute time limit. Wrestling is underway, saying. Yeah, man, we're here, man. We made it, man. It was it was uh, about 30 days ago last time we had one of these. Here we are in Minglewood Hall. The crowd is great as expected, man. But these two guys about to settle the score, man. Norman Meklikoff up against Roscoe Monroe. These guys uh, battled with the Norman. Uh, he made, uh, he wrestled what we remember, we remember wrestling Norman back at the end of last year. And, uh, in a very memorable match uh, with Roscoe. Roscoe dominated the majority oh, yeah. of that match at the yeah. very end of the contest. Yeah. Uh, Norman was able to turn around and win by submission. We'll see if he's able to hook in that full right. Nelson tonight. But these guys are two old school guys. Roscoe a little bit more old school. Little, yeah, he's got a little, yeah. little, little, little tread on the tires. But he's tough. The toughest guy in the locker room, perhaps. Oh, yeah, Roscoe sure. Monroe from Panther Creek. Did you see what he was? Did you see the lunch he was eating back there before the match, Kevin? I did not. What was Ross? Had some, some kind of crocodile gumbo type concoction going on back there, straight from the bayou. Oh, I hope it wasn't Rufus, his uh, pet, his pet gator. Rufus. Oh man, I don't know. It may have been uh, Rufus's uh, kid or something. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Who knows? He is. He does. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roscoe is one of a kind. Oh uh, yeah, for, for sure. sure. These guys have a past, though, man. And, uh, uh, they, uh, Roscoe's been saying that there's things about Norman that we don't know. Uh, we may never know, but they're in the ring today. So hopefully they can settle some of those things tonight. Look at that takedown oh, yeah, there from Roscoe. Hey, now, yeah, but what we do know, know about Norman Wright, he is uh, Russian. Uh, we do know, like, he, he was not as well liked in his time before 9 right. But uh, we do know that. We know he's a very talented artist. 
And he's also very talented in the ring when he gets to paint on this canvas Ooh. here in the 901. Nice reversal. So, but what's interesting here, what's intriguing is our special guest referee. This match set up. There was not much known when we signed off mm -hmm. a month ago on what was going to be next for 901, except that this match would take place. And of course, it's here it is, the opening contest. Uh, Tyler LeMasters, the special guest referee. And also the pupil of, uh, of Roscoe Monroe. Mon uh, Roscoe take, took him under his wing uh, earlier this year. And some mixed reviews uh, pretty much so far, but uh, what do you think is going through his head right now, seeing his, his, his coach, his mentor, and a guy like uh, Norman here in the ring? Well, the thing with, uh, with with Tyler, like he, yes, he's been coached by Roscoe for mm -hmm. for for, uh, for quite a few, for the most of, most of the year, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And it has not really worked out for Tyler. Uh, yes. Tyler has not really changed. The win loss his win loss record has not changed. <laughs> no, nah, it ain't been impressive at all. But uh, there's so much potential. Every time you watch Tyler yeah. Masters wrestle, he. He, he, and of course, this is the first time we've ever seen him officiate. I don't. And he's got his very uh, uh, his new look. Paint, for yeah. Him. yeah, new look. Got the cow print. Got a haircut for yeah. this. And the bandana, giving a little, you know, Cobra Kai vibes a little bit. Roscoe now. Uh, yes, yeah, so absolutely. <laughs> Roscoe stepping on the back of him, oh. throws him to the outside here at Minglewood. Right to the front row. One thing that has not changed in this new era of not one wrestling is that those ringside seats. Never know what to expect those seats, Kevin Serena. That has not changed. Right. There's not a bad seat in the oh, house here at Mingo Hall. Not at all. We're, oh, we're, we're planning on being here monthly now. So the next show coming up on October 20th. And check the dates and buy tickets at 901wrestling.com. Oh. Be a part of Memphis Wrestling at Minglewood Hall. Oh, yes, sir. I'm looking forward to those uh, walking tacos. Uh, we we'll take our first intermission. We we'll grab some of those. We'll get something to eat. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's exciting being here at a new venue. And you got so much. Uh, the food options are fantastic. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, so Norman get back in the ring here, oh. taking down Roscoe, going right to him. These guys, as we know, a history that goes back even further than last December here in the 901. Norman locking it in. See, on yeah, this is a big test there of Tyler. How fair will he be? Yeah. Uh, Roscoe is his coach, but Norman is of the belief, uh, yeah. along with uh, Tommy Jacks, not a wrestling promoter, that that it does not seem to to be the the perfect match here, Tyler and Roscoe. Yeah. I wonder what Roscoe or what Tyler has been thinking? Like, has he been, he's had a month to think about this, and, Ooh, and he really is big right hand. Oh wow, oh, he is man. taking charge in this match. Yeah, Tyler ain't playing around, man. Uh, you got to wonder what's going through his mind because he's been through, yeah. like, we've seen Tyler not only, like, struggle to secure victories here in the 901, but he would also disappear for points in time, right, where he was down in Panther Creek with Roscoe uh, training, uh, these hard, hard training sessions we would hear about of Roscoe, because Roscoe's that old-school coach, saying, right? You, you, oh, know, you, don't want, right involved in, you don't want your kid training with Roscoe. I don't think I would let my kid train with Roscoe at all. I think right about that. Train with Roscoe, it, it, it you come from the, a different time. You train with Roscoe, you come to the ring with Cal Prince shorts. Kind of <laughs> oh, you just don't want your son because of the fashion choices <laughs> yeah, he might yeah. make because yeah. of Roscoe. Who knows? Those might be uh, where those uh, shorts came from. But I might can pull those off, though, man. I think, I think you can. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of fashion. Tyler, pull him off tonight. Yeah, he's pulling him off. Yeah, he's pulling him off pretty good. Man. Got a little tight action going. I ain't mad at you. Hey, he's, he's stepping up. There's always yeah. there's pressure this day and age on what you're going to – you're a special guest. We don't referee. You don't see it very often. No. Nah. You know you got to wear the striped shirt. So what goes with it? Uh, Norman now. Uh, got Roscoe in a headlock. And we, the Roscoe, he's definitely older uh, than anybody else on the roster. But he – ooh. You, you couldn't tell by his – his in-ring ability. He, he's got the heart of, uh, of a young Ooh. man, especially if you watch him on, on social media. Another oh, yeah, kick to sure. the stomach here. You ever been out to the swamp where he's from? I have not. You know, we got we to gotta go on location. I was figuring you would do an on-location interview for the Anthony Zane show. Down yeah, I might do that. I might, yeah, go on down to the bayou. So. That could be. Uh, that I, would, I would tune in for that as well. <laughs> <laughs> See, I love you. I, 
Anytime you got it, I don't want to rest, not want a wrestling star on your show there. Well, I've seen you always enjoy watching it. But yeah, that seems like a – see if you can get get it set up. See if I can Bluff find a budget and get, fly me down to the – do you fly down to the bayou? Get some per diem today. Yeah. I don't think there's a hotel down there. You might have to stay with <laughs> – Yeah, you might stay with Roscoe. Roscoe. Yeah. <laughs> stay with Roscoe. Does he live in a building with four walls and a roof? I'm sure there's a roof. <laughs> Crowd for, firmly yes, behind Norman behind. here. Oh! Folks still getting in, walking in here at Manglewood oh, Hall. Man. We got a new venue. Oh, whoa, quick! Oh! Count. All right, guys. I don't know if that was technically a quick count or not, but Tyler quickly down to the mat starts mm -hmm. counting. Tyler kind of looks the part. He's taking the job seriously. But no, Roscoe not happy about that. I thought that was pretty quick, Roscoe. I don't know. He just shoved, he just oh. shoved him again. Wait a oh. minute! He just shoved him. Roscoe, one, two! two. Three, that's oh, it! man! I think Ros Roscoe was just fired. I think he was just fired. <laughs> Were you just fired, Roscoe? He just fired you? Yeah. It's new generation, man. That's what they had to do to me. He's getting out of here. I'm taking up with Jason. Let's go. <laughs> saying we both, do, we both do a lot of sports radio. I think that's mm -hmm. so, a surprising start to the coaching carousel here, right? Yeah, because man. we've got Coach Roscoe Monroe. Jobless uh, out there. Yeah. No longer... At least no longer with Tyler yeah. LaMasters. But congratulations to Norman getting a win number one here yeah. at Minglewood. First ever match here at Minglewood. Make some noise for Norman, y'all. Yeah. All right. All right. This next match, I, I, got, a little, I got a little too close uh, to, to yeah. this uh, action earlier uh, in the week, about one week ago here. Uh, some 901 wrestling broke out in the studio. We had some studio wrestling there yeah. on Channel 3 for a second. Poor Conja Anthony, man. But uh, I was on Channel 3. The grappler was there to, mm -hmm. to he was going to, the grappler. Oh, we got a lot of grappler fans here. Too. Yeah. We like the grappler, right? Yeah. The grappler on, on, chan on Channel 3, he was going to demonstrate some moves, but Hunter Havoc uh, quickly stopped him. Yeah, made and, an adjustment uh, to the plan. Yeah, and, and almost sent the grappler to the hospital. But luckily, the grappler is doing all right. He is here tonight. Yes, sir. And he's going to be in action against Hunter Havoc in this next match. So, yeah, this match started on Channel 3. It was announced on 92.9 on Wednesday on Jeffrey Wright and Company, and it's taking place right now. So, I says... Yeah, send it on over to our ring announcer, Greg Ratliff. Yeah, uh, probably was a mistake. Yeah. Did he not? Oh, oh man. No. The grappler fresh off his first win the last time we had a show, man. But 
I don't know if we're going to keep this streak alive tonight, Kevin Smith. I do not think so. He might have a concussion. He just <laughs> Already. Not, he just <laughs> was recovering from a, a, a other from week, man. the attack on Monday, News Channel 3, in one of the most watched clips in 901 wrestling history. history yeah. uh, keeps getting views every day. <laughs> yeah. But I the bell, we, we heard the bell. The match is underway. The grappler, he has a singles win. That is the big difference. We've never seen the grappler in Minglewood, obviously, but... Uh, also not coming off a win as he gets down, tossed oh, across man. the ring by Hunter Havoc. Who asked for this match, man? Did the grapple ask for this, or does this Hunter just wanted more? That's from what he, you know, that's my understanding. You understand the logic of the grappler wanting some more of what he got last week on uh, on live at nine. Well, you could say so many things about the grappler. Uh, he he doesn't understand as a lot of how some things work. Yeah, like coming to the ring and using the steps. Like well, that. And I don't know how, how badly he really was injured last Monday, but the idea he thinks he could hug Hunter Havoc, he yeah, still thinks he's friends with Havoc. Yeah. I think he's going to learn he, that he's not here at the end. But, yes, uh, this match was set up uh, in part at the, at the grapplers. Throw a little grace. Uh, oh, come on, man. Oh. Uh, we not, I'm not sure who Kanji Anthony is cheering for in this <laughs> one. <laughs> Shout out to Kanji. Yeah, I don't think she's here today. We'll make sure she gets the uh, – she gets to watch the replay. Hunter acts like he talks to Kanji Anthony on the telephone quite yeah. often. I don't seem, seem to believe that. Yeah, I don't yeah. doubt him, man. There, there, there were people that were happy to see him. when he, he, he said it when he walks into Walmart, people say, what's up, champ, when they see him. And I did see somebody say, what's up, champ. Yeah, he does him. not. He is not currently a 901 wrestling champion. Right. Hunter uh, Havoc here. But if you want to check that Channel 3 interview, find it on the 901 Wrestling YouTube channel. Make sure you are a subscriber. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button. And uh, get alerts for every single episode. Uh, all full episodes, of course, this one. A week after the show is when you can catch it. If you miss it or you want to try to find yourself in the crowd or relive some classic moment. All up there on the 901 Wrestling YouTube channel saying I know you are subscribed. Oh, for sure, man. Post it. Head Gotta over. be. Gotta Bluff, be. Bluff City Media as well so I can watch your mm -hmm. show. The grappler now trying to mount an offense. Come on, grappler. You got it, big dog. Give him about 20 more of those. Are we, or is the grappler possibly on a winning streak, Sam? Could be, man. I'm a believer, Kevin Cerrito. Why not? This, there you oh, go. no. Oh, you're a believer. Man. Can he do it? Uh, I lost my belief. That this could be. Uh, hey. And, of course, now, Havoc. Slams oh, him man. down. It's not looking good. The ref even knows that was for the ground. Painful. It's painful, Kevin Sweeter. Yeah, it's a very painful. It's over with. Have it ready. He said it's over with, Sweeter. Uh oh. We kind of knew where oh, this one man. was going. Big splash from Havoc. And there it is. The grappling streak is over. Grappler's win streak in at one, saying. Yeah, man. Grand opening, grand closing for the Grappler, man. We still love the Grappler, though, right? We love the Grappler, man. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. He'll be all right, man. <laughs> so, it's great. It's great to be here. Look at the crowd. Listen to Y'all make some noise for the Grappler, man. One more time. Get that brother the street to get up out of here. <laughs> Man, shout, can we give a shout out to the yeah. 901 right now? Y'all yeah, brought it here tonight. We're in a new night. Y'all make some noise. Y'all make some noise. <laughs> and I tell you what, I tell you what. If y'all think that we upgraded just a little bit, make some noise, 901. Make some noise. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. N new night, new time. <laughs> we new turned up now. We turned up. <laughs> man, I hear you. I hear you, man. New, new, new night, new time, <laughs> new venue. Uh, kids get in free. 
Uh, we're start, I think I feel like we're starting a new tradition. Yeah, I love it, man. I love here it. Here today on this Sunday. But there is a 901 tradition that happens every year, mm -hmm. and it is the 901 Wrestling Classic. The it's annual coming. tournament is coming this fall. It is back. Coming up on October 20th, we yep. will see opening right round here. action in the 2024 901 Wrestling Classic and saying once again, the winner of this tournament will get a shot at the top title in the territory, the 901 Wrestling Championship. Yeah, it's coming very soon. Those tickets will be available very soon. I'm sure all you guys are going to be there. It's been a great night so far. We got our next show. It's going to be a great one as well when we start the 901 Classic Tournament next I, month, I, October the 20th. Tickets are on sale now, saying. Oh, my you man. You can get them now. Right and here while y'all sitting here, you can go ahead and get those you tickets. You can go ahead and get the tickets. And uh, kids, once again, will get in free coming Follow up free. on October 20th for the start yes, of sir. the 901 Wrestling Classic. But we have so much more action to come to here tonight. We're going to take a quick break. A quick break. And uh, when we come back, uh, we got Prince Adonis in action and the tag team titles. Yes, sir. We'll be up for grabs right when we get back. Welcome, everyone, to your wrestling show. This is a celebration. Every time I come, I cry a little. Wow, Memphis does it different. And it's true, it just fits here. It, it is such a part of the fabric. Wrestling is a big part of the fabric of Memphis. Got a lot of people came out to check out the show today. Michael Donahue, oh, Memphis Flyers yeah, yeah. here, Jason, Jason Smith from the Jason and John Show. We got WMC5 in the building. Great article by Frank Bonner with the Daily Memphis. You should know about this by now, but it is such a, a throwback, and I've talked about this with before because I've been to a couple of events. It is such a throwback to just the feel of Monday nights and wrestling in Memphis. The crowd was rocking. Yes. I sent you on video of the crowd was rocking. If you guys haven't been out to 901 Wrestling, I encourage you to do that. It's great fun, and they're packing the house down. I definitely enjoyed the show. I thought that it was absolutely fantastic. I went to a 901 Wrestling event. Oh, I highly suggest everybody do one of those at least once in their life. Honestly, it was just very chaotic. <laughs> That's the only word I can truly describe it as. It was just an insane night. It was awesome. Yeah. I loved it. I was offered a spot to jump in the ring at some point in the future. I might go back as a fan though. It was a cool event. We are so behind the wrestling movement in Memphis. And they're just doing a fantastic job. They put on a fantastic show. They always do. And I definitely look forward to going back for more. I'm in Memphis, baby. This right. is what it's all right. about. Welcome, everyone, to your wrestling show. A lot of people come out and check it out, man. The buzz is definitely growing with 901 Wrestling. We want to announce a very special group that is here. There's a group led by my guy, Charvis Ford. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Y'all in the building? Make some noise, yeah. Make some noise for them. Yeah, they came super deep in this joint. Everybody, go back and tell your youth groups, your church, your job. The kids get in. It's basically kids getting in free. Every other, every other ticket gets a kid in free. So make sure y'all bring y'all groups in. It's a great time, as you guys can see. But shout out to you guys. Uh, just bringing your whole group out tonight, for sure. We, we are for real about it. You know, we want yeah. to... To, uh, you know, we've been doing it for years, right? The one y'all been here, you know what we're talking about, right? We're bringing uh, Memphis Wrestling to where it used to be in a new way here mm -hmm. in the 901. And uh, one way it's important to us is to get the kids in the oh, building. Yeah, this is sure. family friendly entertainment. It is legit. You buy a ticket, the kid gets in. Buy a yep. ticket, kid gets in. So every yep. ticket you every buy, ticket a kid you gets buy, in. Kid gets in free. Uh, bring that, your neighbors, man. Bring your little cousin and them. All of them. Bring them up. Your little nephew and them. All right, welcome, uh, welcome officially, welcome back to 901 Wrestling here live at Minglewood Hall. Before you welcome us back, I'm sorry, y'all. One more what shout else? out. What Another shout out. We have more people that won the prize, man, up in the VIP. Oh, we do have there. a shout out. If y'all look up here in that corner, make some noise in them up there. That could be you next time. That could be you next time. Or you can buy that spot next time, and you and nine of your guests can fill up that VIP room the next time we have a show. If you had a special event more than that, you can uh, go to 901wrestling.com and... Uh, Slide my DM, I'll tell you how much you can get this. <laughs> I got you. Come on now. We're going to work something out. We're going to work something out. But shout out to them. They won the I Love Memphis contest, and they're here enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Officially, welcome back here to 901 Wrestling Live at Minglewood Hall. Uh, the next match here, we got a uh, 901 Wrestling favorite, and it is classic season, oh, right? Yeah, so you got to start seeing what Prince mm -hmm. Adonis can do. The king of the classic, man. Let's send it over to our ring announcer, Greg Ratliff. All right. 901, your final. 
following contest is scheduled for one fall. With a 15 minute time limit. as you uh, might recall here saying wrestled a few months back he's great match too man. in a different building mm -hmm. uh, tore the house down prince adonis uh, walked out with the victory nice little tune up before next month's show when we have our uh, 901 classic tournament kickoff adonis who you know he's won at least one of these in the past uh, two-time 901 yeah, two wrestling time, classic yeah. he, winner he won back-to-back -back classics and uh, and one of them became a tag team champions. Yep. No, Adonis very quick. Oh. Moving fast here against Brandon oh, White. But, the, but yes, the... Uh, oh! Adonis one of the, the, definitely one of the crowd favorites here in Minglewood Hall. Crowd getting behind him, man. A, a, a mainstay here in the 901. Yeah. Prince Adonis. Uh, spent most of the past year feuding with his cousin, the Merc. Chris yeah, 18, Evans. 19 champion. The Minglewood Merc, Kevin Minglewood Smith. Merc. Yeah, no. Prince Adonis now, is he, he's going up top and goes, oh! oh woo. Uh oh. This, well, High not risk well. maneuver, and this is, this is not, not going to end well enough. Oh, that Brandon was White into the ring post. Referee is counting. Oh. oh. This guy's brawling on the outside. Brandon rolling back into the ring. And Adonis came to play. He looks in great shape. Yeah, man, for sure. Oh! oh. The Going for the pin. Going to need a little bit more to take. Not yet, not yet, not yet, Adonis. It's been nonstop here since the bell uh, went a ring in here. My goodness. This has been fun so far. So oh, man, it. great show tonight, man. Great crowd, great food. Heard some good reviews about the food so far here at Minglewood Hall, man. During the break, we walked around, got to experience how the fans are experiencing oh, a big man. boot oh, to Prince yes, Adonis. Hey. This match. Brandon White's a big boy, man. Okay, going for the pin here. Oh. This match announced in the 901 Wrestling newsletter. Make sure you are a subscriber. 901wrestling.com. You can find the link. Subscribe to the newsletter. It's free. It's free to subscribe, and you can get updates on match announcements. Sometimes about mm -hmm. new venues, new days, yeah. new times. Yes, sir. Uh, new ticket specials, like kids get in free. Yep. Yep. All that in the 901 Wrestling Newsletter. Make sure you are a subscriber. Follow your wrestling show. It is your wrestling show's news. Yep. Speaking of kids getting in free, Cerrito, I saw a kid walking with that walking taco, man. I didn't get a chance to get any at the last intermission. I'm going to leave. You're going to get walk. one? I got to get one before I leave. Got to get one. Too many of them coming from I the bar, it, man. We have to it. get one. Big boot to the back uh, from Brandon White. Brandon uh, recently out of retirement. Mm -hmm. Uh, this guy been wrestling. He's also a, a 901 original, right? This guy goes yeah. way back in the history books for 901 wrestling, predating the name of the company. Yeah, man. Uh, Brandon's been around for a while. Planned to retire. Ooh, almost oh. got a pin here. Planned to retirement, but he came back, and my goodness, what a time to come back soon after. Here we are at Minglewood. Yeah, the bright lights of Minglewood, man. The crowd has been fantastic tonight so far. They've seen some good matches so far as well, man. We saw uh, Norman get fired. We assume he got fired. Uh, him and Tyler Matthews. Oh, so uh, Coach, Coach Roscoe got oh, fired. Oh, I'm sorry. Norman, Coach Norman Roscoe, got the win. Sorry, yeah, I'm Roscoe. tripping, man. I'm tripping, man. Yeah. This is the hunger, man. I need, I need that walk and talk. You got to get it. Yeah, a new time, 5 o'clock, right? At yeah, the it's same a new time. time uh, yeah, exactly, man. Exactly. <laughs> 
Thank goodness there's some food. Look at this vertical suplex. Oh, that might do it. Woo, always Come impressive on, to see that. Going for the pin, hooking the leg. One, two. Hand on the rope there from Prince Adonis. My guy got the seven is in the ring. Man. You know, you know the classic coming up. Oh uh, yeah, it's, it's a Adonis season. It's a Adonis season. Here. Yeah, and Mr. October himself. Uh, right, in the nine on one. Yeah, he's, <laughs> the fall comes. The fall comes around. Yeah, it's so classic yeah. season. It's when Adonis uh, yeah, is man. usually at his best. So you know he wants to get a win here, Brandon, as well, because I mean the 901 Wrestling Classic, you're not guaranteed a spot in that tournament, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the, only the best of the best get selected to compete in that bracket. So you know if you're Brandon White, you want to win here, maybe that gets you into the into the 901 Wrestling Classic. The bracket I'm sure will be revealed very soon. Make sure you stay connected on all 901 Wrestling social media. Yeah, Brandon, Brandon been in control here for a minute. He's trying to figure out. I wonder, saying like, what's it going to be like? These wrestlers here. This is uh, we're in a totally different environment yeah. than they've ever really competed mm -hmm. in anywhere around the territory. Oh, for sure, great venue here, Minglewood Hall, man. I'm gonna tell you what I can't t take my eyes off, Kevin Sweeto. It's yeah. a VIP lounge up there. We had our contest winners sitting up there. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be looking at that when we have our next show in October just, too. Just a two count. Yeah, you yeah. can go to 91 wrestlingcom uh, to contact for more information about the luxury boxes. I mean, it's a, it's impressive. We had a, we had so much fun there at Black Lodge in the back of that video store wrestling mm -hmm. for many years. But there's something different, something special oh. here as well at Minglewood. Adonis. Let's go, Adonis. Can this be the moment he turns things around in this match? Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Going, going up top, Cerrito. Adonis, Prince Adonis. Put some on him. Put some on him. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. That hurt. Yes, sir. The pain. It's painful, Kevin Cerrito. Oh, two down. I thought that did it. I thought it did, too. That kick landed on Brandon's face and his chest. From the middle rope there for Prince Adonis. Is he going to go back up? He's going to try it again, man. I think he's going to do it. Give him one more for the We're fans. One uh, more. The fans want Adonis. It. Adonis now all, oh, the, going way all the way to up the top. top. To the top rope. Ooh. He caught him. Oh. Big time power bomb from Brandon White. Wait, his feet are oh. on the ropes. Oh. Oh. oh, I thought he had it. Man. That would have been bad right there, man. Come on, Adonis. Y'all get behind him, man. Come on, Adonis. Just two. He thought he had it. He thought uh, he, he had it. A little frustrated. Man. Yeah, when you when you cheat and you can't even get the win there, he's got to be frustrated. Again, the pressure of performing in this building, competing in Minglewood Hall. Historic night here tonight, Sweetie. We didn't talk about that, man. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody rocked this building in 10 years, man. It's been 10. Yeah. yeah. It's been a while since we've seen local wrestling inside mm -hmm. Minglewood Hall. Brandon now going again here. Is he going to actually... Oh, a power Ooh. bomb, Adonis. Man. Did he get him this time? That'll oh, man. It. Big win for Brandon White. Classic season win here. Big win there for Brandon White. It's, it's as we mentioned, it is a uh, 9-1 classic season here, and to beat the guy who is uh, mostly associated with that tournament right before the brackets are announced, it's a pretty big win there. For yeah, Brandon it's a White. really surprising win for Brandon White as well, man. Like I said, last time those guys got in the ring, Adonis came out with the win. But here, right before the 9-1 classic tournament, Brandon White gets a big win. Yeah. I hope they get, get your mic right. Yeah, man. Hey, no me out here. Man. There it goes. <laughs> Going in and out. It is night one at Minglewood, and every match we got left saying, 
Oh, it's a big one. It's for a title. Every yeah. single match remaining here will be for a championship. We've got three big title matches. All the titles are on the line tonight. We're going to start with the tag team championship, and we'll see how we got here. So turn your attention to the big screen. May 18th, me and my brother have a rematch for the tag team titles. Unfortunately, that can't happen. I was a little too eager to get back in the ring, and uh, I kind of injured myself to the point that the doctors won't let me compete. I'm the reason you can't pick up a six pack, much less what's left of your career. But with that being said, Twisted Steel still has an ass whooping dude. Well, me and my brother's been kind of watching these two fellas and they've been running through some people. I'd kind of be grateful if uh, May 18th you guys could uh, deliver that for me. Are they gonna shine the tag team titles Great. from Twisted Steel? I know in the back of your mind, you know that you two don't deserve this. You know this was given to you. When it comes down to it, in the deepest part of your heart, you know you don't deserve this. Oh, oh the power! Oh, we got you just at the spot! And new 901 Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Top Shotta! Two. Get him out of here! Yes, sir! Top Shotta's win! They retain the, the tag titles! Billy Robertson. Come on, we need some help out here! Get out of here, guys! Man, nasty work, man. Nasty work, Billy Robinson. This has been building and building, saying, here we go. Oh! Going into this match, we got the, you know, the injury reports. And somehow they got cleared to compete. I don't think it didn't matter tonight. They got revenge in their eyes. The referee, oh. oh no. Whoa, come on. Billy Robinson's got a chain. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Spear! Oh. Yes! Top oh. shot of retains! Yes. They know that MJ's not here right now, and they're taking full advantage of it to get these guys as weak as possible. It's all because of that right there. These guys are more than capable. They got plenty of talent. Top shot is beaten against the main studio. They beat them, and then they got their rematch. But now they're saying that wasn't their rematch because Top, because top shot has asked for the match. Twist the skill and got three ahead, but they can't beat us yet. So coming to 22nd, we plan on shutting it down for good. It's time for us to end, so we coming in about our business, and we gonna finish. MJ Davis, 
Titles on the line. Top shot is Tusa Steel. We've seen this one before, uh, saying it, it went pretty quickly the last yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, it definitely did, man. Top shot is, like you said, one of the most dominant tag teams you probably ever seen ever, Kevin Smith, not just in this territory, but probably of all time, man. Two very imposing guys, a combination of strength, speed, athleticism. Just I, don't, I can't think of anybody better, man. The way they are able to uh, just dominate their opponents and it's been unlike anything, anything we've seen yeah. in so, so, so long in professional wrestling. And there's, so there's no you know, question that they're on top, right, of yeah. the tag team division. They are top shotters. And, and the only time we've seen them even be vulnerable is if it's a two-on-one or somebody's out with an injury and things like that. But we've never, when it's a fair fight two-on-two, can't nobody touch them. Uh, yeah, and MJ can't Davis in the ring now with mm -hmm. Connor, the dude, Connor. Trying to call a timeout. Oh, ain't no timeout, bro. It's over. For me. There's a lot of new things here tonight, but well, timeout has not been added to any anything in the rules. You cannot call a timeout, but you can tag your opponent. It's tag team wrestling. Yeah. Twisted Steel, former tag team champs. They uh, lost the belts to Top Shotters, and Top Shotters gave them a rematch. But Billy Robertson said that well, that they didn't the Twisted Steel because Twisted Steel didn't ask for the rematch. There was mm -hmm. a technicality that they would get at least one more shot, and that's what we are seeing right now. Oh. Big shot from MJ Davis. As he tags in the Bluff City boss, Don Montana. This is one of the three title matches tonight. Big Ooh. splash right. oh. from MJ. Send it right to a boot from Don Montana. This is what we're talking about, saying. Oh, they are not playing with these folks at all, man. One, two. Oh, I thought we had a quick one again, Cerrito. Oh, Don Montana, man. Powerhouse, man. The Bluff City Balls for 1819 yes, champion. Oh. Good, big clothesline. He had a pretty good run as 1819 champion, too. Dang, I'm hitting here, Connor. They're trying to get this over early, Cerrito. Not quite. Though. Oh. Rake to the eye, gets the opportunity to tag in Morgan. Morgan the man. Morgan coming in, we're double teaming right now, so the referee tries to get him out of the ring. Don, though, duck it, and double oh. clothesline from the Bluff City Boss. If you've seen the posters or the images going around for the show today, that, we saw that very same move. That was it, yeah, that's right. Same double clothesline by Don Martell. On the One uh, and double clothesline. Yeah, on the pocket schedule mm -hmm. uh, is that do a double clothesline from Don Martell. Oh. And double oh, elbow God. from the top oh. shotters. I don't. I say I don't see any team stopping nah. the top nah. shotters. I nah. just don't know how they can do it. I can't. I just see don't it, know. But well, I guess we can't forget that we've got Billy Robertson here on the outside. So it's always three on two when it comes down to this particular team with Twisted Steel. Just the dominance of this team. Top shotters. Yep. Billy Robertson. Oh, the best in the 901. Did you see that boot? Oh, in man, the to the back of the head. From the MJ Davis. Billy Robertson, who says he's been the mastermind behind Twisted Steel this entire time, even though he was not their manager right. the entire time. But hey. Right. During most of their success, Billy Robertson has not been around. <laughs> But we know he Billy has had this ability, right? He does figure his way to weasel, yeah. weasel uh, his way through mm -hmm. uh, technicalities and negotiations. Mm -hmm. It just has not worked out because I mean, if you're trying to take down top shotters, Murray starting from behind, oh, and yeah. there you go. Morgan's spine has been busted. We're going for a pen. Not quite. Not quite. I get Don Montana now in there with Morgan. Yeah, hate to be Morgan the man right now. Not, not quite looking like the man right now, Kevin Serena. All the title matches tonight were announced uh, first on 901 Wrestling social media. Make sure you're following. Mm -hmm. Especially oh, Baylor oh, right there on there the is. outside. That's the only way they Morgan can get anything, any kind of advantage, man. But they're definitely gonna, not going to beat these guys fair and square. 
Yeah, it's the, the only way, man. That type of stuff. This is the only, Look at this. only chance. Right there. There you no, go. Th there's no team that can do it, but a trio. Yeah. Quite possibly. Yeah, three on one over can here. Right get now. it done. It's Morgan now trying to choke it out. Connor punching on. Come on now. It's the only way, man. Connor the dude checking back in. Yeah, this is. This is outrageous. Yeah. That's the only hope they got, though, man. We want to see a fair contest. Twisted Steel just wants to win by any means necessary here. As Don now going into the corner for Ooh. a look like a splash, but gets a boot from Connor as he goes to the second rope and oh. drop kick. Look at that athleticism. So he's going for the pin on the balls here. Two count. A little frustrated, man. You'll be all right, though. Choke at him. Yeah, it's the only chance you got is to try to work these guys when they're on the ground, man, or do some dirty stuff. Because they're standing, they're standing toe to toe, face to face, man. You ain't, you ain't beating Dom on the top shot. Uh, we'll see if they can even do it this year. It has not worked out for them no. uh, past two times they have competed at uh, these teams. Even with Billy Robertson, yeah. they've been unable Ooh. to take down top shot. Yep. This is their last chance. They will not get another title shot against top shot. No. They've got to win today at Mingo Wood Hall. Crowd getting behind Don Montana. They're trying to do a double DJ suplex. David. And now Ooh, successful double team maneuver there. A double suplex from Twisted Steel. The pin Ooh, MJ broken Davis up by up. MJ. Billy now up there on the apron. I don't think that's a great idea. All right, now he's, oh, oh, he's come totally on, distracting the referee here. Boot to the midsection for Morgan going on in the inside. Morgan got total control. Uh, Not sure what Billy was trying to, to achieve there. Yeah. Morgan now going for the pin. Got to say, though, Twist Steel, they work very well oh, yeah. together. Hey, isn't that a team, bad tag team? Man. But it's just, it's just when they have matched up, it has not worked out. Again, the only reason they've got the upper hand right now is because of uh, Billy Robertson's yeah. involvement. I think we would be done with this match already. Yeah. So they had, they've had a couple two-on-ones. They've in, they injured MJ Davis a few months ago. Billy's still lurking on the, the outside there. Morgan. Sizing them up. Try, yeah, trying to get something done. This is that matchup you mentioned, say. Boom. The battle of the 901 Wrestling Pocket schedule. Going for the pick. Oh, no, so sir. close. No, sir. Come on, Don. Oh, oh yeah, MJ. Come here, man. Come on, man. Yeah. This referee trying to get things under control. It's hard. It's hard, you know. I got to give give credit to any referee. He's got to have a, a match with Billy Robertson on the outside. Yeah. So the no handle. Twisted Steel, though, looking for another double maneuver. Going against the ropes. Oh. That might do it. MJ's Did ready to get in on the outside. No. Once again, helping out. His tag team partner. This match, I don't have the official count of the time, but I, I feel like saying it's been going on for a while. It's huh? the longest, the longest match between these two teams. Oh, probably so. I think probably we can so. probably confirm that. Seems like Twisted Steel has been putting these guys away in quick fashion. Man. Crowd getting behind Don Montana. Come on, Don, let's go, let's go. And the crowd firmly behind Top Shotters. And Montana feed off the energy of the Ooh. 901 here. So, Connor, though, I mean, you want to talk about oh. there's a few guys on the roster who can oh, match up yeah, yeah, for physique-wise sure. with oh, Don man. Montana. Connor's one He's of one them. He's one of them for sure, man. Big boy. Going for the pin. Oh, oh we were talking. I thought we had the upset just then, Kevin Sweeney. Looks like Connor did too, man. Oh, I thought he this match might have been over because Connor, look at the size of him. He looks like, I don't know how it's possible, son. I don't know. We took a month off. To still be that jack. <laughs> he is. I think he's big. I think he's he big. might be bigger, man, for sure. He's, he's got one of the best physiques in the 901. I'll oh, give him sure. that. These guys are really good wrestlers, man. They, they, oh, boom, oh. boom, to the head of Connor. He's out. That might be the opening. Yeah, for sure. Can Don get to the corner? Because MJ is he's fresh ready. and he's ready, ready to go yeah. out there. I was saying, man, these guys are Both good wrestlers, man. Yeah. They just choose the dirty stuff, you know what I mean? They, you know, 
they're good even without that type of stuff. But you know, it's just, ever since up with Billy Robinson, seems like he just cranked it up just to just made it a little bit more dastardly, Kevin Street, though, ever since he got there. Yeah, they've never been on the right path from yeah. what, we, what we've seen here yeah. at 901, but you know they're not going to get that way with Bill Robertson. Yeah. This corner, you know, um, okay, let's just get it done. Let's get it done. And we got a tag for get Morgan. Get oh, MJ, MJ. MJ. Watch out. MJ, uh -oh. Big clothesline uh -oh. from MJ. Another clothesline. Another clothesline. Another clothesline. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. MJ duck it in. Uh -oh. Boom. Uh -oh. yes, Big sir. punch to the face. Top I love shot it. us. That's what the crowd want to see, man. That's what they want to see. They messed up now, Cerrito. Ooh. All right, both Ooh. members of Top Shot is working on Twisted Steel in, in opposite corners here. Connor turning things around on the other side. The referee trying to get things under control. MJ. Connor, they're working over. We got MJ and Morgan over here. We got Connor. It's yeah. just, there's action everywhere here. At Mingle Woodhall. And MJ came in on fire. MJ. Oh, we got. All right, so Connor getting pushed off of Don. The referee really trying to get. Oh! No! oh! Don just speared MJ. Oh no. oh, no. Oh, no. The ref is out. In that. MJ's on the outside. He's the legal man. Who's the legal man? I think, I think it's MJ, right? Yes, I think it is. Yeah. I think, I think MJ is the legal man. Oh no, we got Morgan picking him up. Connor from the top now. On the top. Oh no. Ooh. Double team move from Connor. The referee. He's still out. Morgan tr trying to drag him over there. What is MJ doing? MJ! MJ pulling the referee Man. out, trying to stop it. What a save by MJ. Poor Man ref. having a hard night, huh? <laughs> the ref definitely having a hard night. The referee is outside the ring. There is no control here in this contest as we have Connor and MJ battling on the outside. Man, in the good seats here at Minglewood Hall. Right there in the, the front barricade. row. Oh. We got a spear from Don Montana in the inside. One, two, three. Top there shot is retained. <laughs> Chaotic. Yeah, man. Great match for the top shotters, man. A little adversity, man, when it came out on top. Makes it all for the top shotters, y'all. Another win here in Minglewood Hall. Big win, big win, man. We still got two more title matches more. to go here tonight, yeah. but uh, surprise, saying we got a break. We yeah, gotta we take got another, another break. break. Another break, another break. Another uh, break. We've got double breaks here at Minglewood Hall. We're gonna take a, a quick timeout and be right back. The 18-19 championship will be decided as well as the top title of the territory, the 901 Wrestling Championship in your main event as uh, Kevin Bless battles Bobby Ford. So, yes, so uh, you don't want to go anywhere. We'll be right back. Show here live at Minglewood Hall. 
So much has happened already, oh, Sam. Man. It's been a great show so far, man. The tag team has defended their title. Been wild stuff going on tonight. Hope you guys are having a great time, man. Starting to feel like home a little bit up in here. Sweet up, yeah. About to do this again sometime next month on the 20th, man. What you think? Sep yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is September. October 20th. Yeah. October 20th. Yeah, we're right. back for the 901 Wrestling uh, Classic. Tickets on sale now. now. But we still have two more big oh, yeah. title big ones, matches big ones, big ones. here tonight. Our next one, saying it's, it's a rarity to see a triple threat match here in the 901. But we've got one guy in the match. He's the original 1819 champion. Walker 13. Walker 13. And then we have another man in the match. He's the most uh, recent former champion, the All-American. Ken Dang, yep. And the current and it, champion, the, uh, the Merc, Chris Evans. Another yeah, thing, too, about Minglewood Walker. Merc. I'm sorry, my bad. The called, Minglewood yeah. Merc, Chris Evans, is in this match as well. Something about Walker 13, man, he's been on a tear over the last year or so. I, don't, I can't tell you last time I've seen him lose. Okay, yeah, yeah. If you're if you're new to this, if you haven't been to a 901 wrestling show before, Walker 13 has not lost yeah, a single match had, since yeah. returning to the 901. So let's see how this uh, triple threat match goes for the 1819 championship. Before we get the action underway, let's take a look at how we got here. Start the brawl exactly what we're getting here. Bert never tasted gold here in the 901. That guy's a dangerous, dangerous man to begin with. Bert definitely came in and sent the offense early. Ken Day noticed him. Remember you? Ken Day, he held this 18 championship. The rec room era, Ken Day, he's been 1819 champion. He's 18 champion here in the Black Lodge era. You know he would love to start the new era. Seen the crowd play such a big role tonight. Will they play a role here? Now the Merc! Oh! He's the new champion! The new champion. is scheduled for one fall with a 25 minute time limit it is for the 901 wrestling 1819 championship <laughs> introducing first to the corner across from me weighing in at 313 pounds he is the memphis made monster walker yeah. Introducing next to my right, he is from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 280 pounds. He is the All-American Ken Day. Weighing in at 268 pounds from that part of Memphis you don't want to visit. He is the Wood Merc. Your reigning 
defending 1819 champion, Chris Walker 13. No surprise, no surprise at all. That's the referee, Ooh. yeah, referee. Uh, calling for the bell as we're getting things underway in this triple threat match. You know, Kevin Cerrito, Chris Evans came on my show and he said he's not worried about this triple threat, triple threat match. The stipulations come with that. And he came in setting the tone for this match early, man. Right, we'll see, we'll see what he can do now coming in as champion. Yeah. Uh, the Merc, Chris Ooh. Evans winning the belt a little over a month ago, and it mm -hmm. feels like a day has not gone by that I've not seen him talking trash. Oh, somewhere. Uh, either on social media, on your show, on 92.9, anywhere yeah. he can go. As In the comments on Jessica Benson's show, he's going to be somewhere, he's man. He's always yeah. saying something, yeah. He's a very confident champion, yeah. but he's in there with these two guys right now who are battling inside the ring. Yeah. You got to be confident to call yourself the Minglewood Merc before you even had your first match in Minglewood Hall. Right. The Minglewood Merc is not even... But here we go, he's got his first match, and we'll see uh, if he can come out victorious. But he's got the former 1819 champion right now, mm -hmm. Ken Dang, battling in there, the man he beat for that belt as Walker 13. Going is up getting top. up on, on here. Oh, from the metal war open, diving out the big man. Oh, man, awful close to the good seats over there, Kevin Sweeter. Knocking him down. Big fan favorite here, Walker 13, man. Been on a reign of terror, man, so to speak. Pun intended, Kevin Cerrito, since right. he's uh, made his return to the 901. The Memphis made monster, the yes, original sir. 1819 champion, won that belt. I get to do the three count on that, uh, saying that on yeah. that match. I, believe it or not, I go back and check that oh, out yeah. on the 901 Wrestling YouTube. A uh, big moment from a few eras ago here in the 901. Oh, Walker, a totally different type of guy uh, in and out of the ring than he was when he won that mm -hmm. belt. And I mean, honestly, because he's better, right? No, that's yeah. what's that's yeah. what would be scary to me if I was the Merc in this match. Mm -hmm. Like you said, Walker 13, man, took a little walk on the dark side a little bit uh, since we last since we first saw him here, here in his uh, reign during uh, 901 wrestling. But Ken Dang trying to set up. Oh, it, it's worked for Walker for oh, sure. He's he's he has yet yeah. to lose a singles yeah. match here yeah. since returning to the 901 last year. We've got oh. Ooh. Ken Dang, that looks, that looks like it hurt. He's on yeah, the outside. Man, it, look, it looks painful, Ken. It's painful. Walker! Walker! Crowd Firmly behind Walker. They also really, really like Ken. As a, Ref's a calling for somebody that, for Ken Dang over there. Man. Yeah, we're calling, calling for a referee in the back here. Hope Ken is all right. We're getting some uh, medical assistance here from the referees. Ken going to be carried to the back. Looks like he is. He's holding that arm on the outside, but the match continues. This is a but from a triple threat to a one on one real fast, Kevin Serena. Right. Whoever can oh, get man. the pin. Ken Dang out already. All the man walking to the back. You hate to see this. The triple threat is we rarely see a triple threat match. Yeah, it's always just like that. And we may not get one here tonight. Ken Dang being carried here to the back at Minglewood Hall. As we see, yeah. Chris Evans said he's not he's not concerned about the triple threat match, and now that whole thing As is gone, man. Yeah. Yeah. Break Ken Dang's arm. That's the thing. We don't know what the Merc, uh, wait, what motivates him. But now that he's he's got this title, it just seems like it's taking him to a, a oh, yeah. different level oh, yeah. of confidence. He's had a nice run as well, man. We talked about Walker 13's run. Chris Evans is going to go crazy. Run. Oh, big. Yeah, he did. Big, uh, big, big clothesline there yeah. from. From Walker 13. Now we got a, a singles match. We get an update on 
the yeah, all American to status, we will let you know what's still going waiting on. to get an update on that from the back. So, but, uh, you hate to see that. I mean, oh, that, man. this entire locker room very excited here about the new era of mm. 901 wrestling. Sundays, five o'clock, Mingle Wood Hall. Kids get in free. free. Yeah, man. See a lot of happy parents, man. Be able to bring all the kids, have a good time. Great, great, great energy here tonight at Mingle Wood Hall. It is awesome. Yeah. This is the place to be. Get to see, see folks brawl here at Mingle Wood Hall. Yes, sir. We're grabbing Walker yeah. by his, his uh, straps there, but gets him, he's knocking Ooh. him down. The Merc, I gotta give it to him. He's, he's, he seems to uh, be hanging in, more than hanging in here with Walker. Just goes for the cutter. Two count. No. Merc getting a little frustrated. Excuse me, mingle with Merc getting a little frustrated. <laughs> I don't know how official calling him the Minglewood Merc is. <laughs> Knowing him, he's probably got a, a copyright. Big boot! Pending. Coming to you. The Memphis made Monster Walker 13. Mm -hmm. now, this, I, you wonder, because we, we're throwing out the stats, we know Walker has not been pinned or submitted in singles mm -hmm. competition. In since, a long time. Yeah, since, since his return. This has turned quickly into a singles match. Though yeah. it's officially, of course, a triple threat match. Still a triple threat match. We could hopefully maybe can they see him return here uh, to the contest, but ooh, ooh. but it's, it just does not seem very very likely. To see Ken no, again. He's probably dead. Bill. Oh no, we're gonna see a choke slam. Oh, Burt. Ooh, calculated it. Elbow to the to the throat area. Kevin was Sweden. that the throat? That's what it looked like. No, sir. You get some great seats here. Oh, man. Not a bad seat in the house at all, man. That VIP section looks super cool. I walked up there in the intermission and spoke to some people, man. Great seats up there, man. Great seats in that VIP section. We got the VIP tables around the outside. Great. Great seats here at Mickey Wilson. Can't go wrong. If there's anything can happen here tonight, I don't want to wrestle and show you. A triple threat match can turn into a singles match. Well, no, we've got uh, Walker 13, you know. He's been finishing off many of his matches with that dead man's party. Yeah. See if he's able to connect uh, with that here on the Merc, and then he will become the 1819 champion if he can do that. Pretty confident as the Merc now goes to the top. Mm. the face, kick to the mid section there. The Merc now, high risk maneuver. Big Ooh. time splash. Big time splash by Chris Evans. Evans. Uh-oh. Walker catching Got him. him. Got him. Ooh. Tossing him across the ring. Walker rallying back here. He's never dead. One, two. Oh, I thought that was it. Oh, new champion. Me too, man. For sure. Walker. And you know the crowd. What do they want to see? Uh -oh. he's, uh -oh. he's signaling for it. I don't know what that means, Rito. But some. He's signaling. I think he's. I think he's getting ready. He's getting ready to put him away here. Oh. The Merc with a modified uh -oh. suplex. Of so some sort. Make Wait a minute. minute. Man, this some chiropractic. Oh. Elbow. Oh, both of to them the took a blow. And these guys are putting it all out there. Looks like Walker 13, like, fixed his neck some type of way. Yeah. I don't know what, what that was. It was scary, know. though. Yeah, it looked kind of crazy. You would not want to be across, <laughs> across the ring. Yeah, man. Let's see that. In the room. Ken Day coming back out. What? In the referee world? trying to stop him. What's he doing? Ken, arm is taped up. Man. Here he comes. The one arm bandit in this joint, man. Ken Day is back. Ooh. We've got a triple threat match all I over think, again. I don't oh. The referee tried to stop him, but Ken Day on a roll here. He said he got it, man. He's laboring, though. Yeah, he's holding that arm. I don't Ooh. know if this is a great idea, but the. Ah, that's got to hurt, man. 
But to tell the emotion in this ah. building here tonight for the Get debut at Minglewood. The triple threat match is back on, saying. Oh, you're a bet. One way or the other. Ooh. Somehow, Ken Dane connecting with that power bomb. We got a two count in. Oh, Merck. Grab the rope. Yeah, I ain't great, great ring positioning there. He slid on to the next pin. Now, yes. <laughs> no, sir. They can pin anybody. All it takes is uh, one, two, three. Uh oh. Any he opponent. to the crowd. It's over. He only got one arm, but he got a good thumb, Kevin Zerito. Could we see? He got one good thumb. He's got that thumb up. And he's ready. Yes, sir. Who's he going to connect this with here? Ooh. Oh, no. He connected. Can the Merc capitalize here? Oh, he man. did. Merc wins. Two, two fan favorites acknowledging each other. Yeah, yeah, tough loss of both of those guys. Ken tried to tough it out after the arm injury, man. Kind of, eh, I don't know. Kind of, I don't know. The, the Merc uh, in the right place at the right yeah. time. Yeah, he able said, able he, to retain that 18-19 championship. And yeah, he said he wasn't worried about the triple threat match, and it, it came out in his favor for sure. If I was Mark 13, I'd feel away, though, man. But, hey, you know. You know, I feel like we're at the right place at the right oh, time, right? Sure, I've been having sure. fun tonight. Y'all good? Y'all having fun out there? All right. There's there's one more match to go this evening, and if uh, you remember, one of the most memorable moments in Battle One Wrestling history occurred when we signed off our previous venue just uh, a little over a month ago when Kevin Bless played his wild card and was able to defeat Shane Schaffner to become the 901 wrestling champion just moments after Shane had beat Bobby Ford yeah exactly Shane had just beat Bobby Ford he's, he's Shane Schaffner now the shortest reigning 901 wrestling champion of all time but now bless is on top he's got the city on his back and he's defending that title against the former champion Bobby Ford in your Wrestling Show's main event tonight at Minglewood Hall. Oh, let's get to it. Let's get
from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 185 pounds. He is the reigning, defending, 901 wrestling champion, the true title in the territory on the line saying in the inaugural main event at Minglewood this new era night one will conclude with one of these men leading as the champion Kevin Sweeto I never thought I'd see a crowd chanting for Kevin Bless but I've seen it crazier things have happened in my life but we just saw Kevin Bless get a, a cheer from the crowd a chant from the crowd for Kevin Bless our new yeah. Not a more wrestling champion. It seems like we've watched that momentum slowly grow throughout mm -hmm. the summer here. Yeah, man. It's the Wild card Rumble champion. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Wild card Rumble winner, I'm sorry. Yeah, Wild card Rumble winner, Kevin Bless, using uh, mm -hmm. that wild card, playing it to become 9 1 wrestling champion at the final battle at Black Lodge. Uh, but he defeated Shane Schaffner, not yeah. Bobby Ford. Bobby Ford was the champion, tapped out to Shane. Shane then went on to become the shortest reigning 9 1 wrestling champion of Very all time. Short. Uh, when Bless uh, played that wild card and walked out the winner at the uh, final one, two, three of uh, that era of 901 wrestling and gets to be in the main event tonight as we kick things off on Sundays at 5 o'clock at Minglewood Hall. Kids get in free, and my goodness. Look at this! Ooh! What a big moment for Bless here, and oh, he yeah, seems man. to be embracing it as we watch oh, him come to the he's ring here tonight. Him, man. He's always a guy who's loved attention anyway, but <laughs> now he's getting some positive attention, Kevin Serino, so I'm sure he's loving it. Yeah, he, he seems to like be taking yeah. that in a whole new yeah. uh, direction, and, and not taking it lightly. He's like he's like the kid, because I was this kid in school, Kevin Serino. He's like the kid in school who cuts up all the time, cracks right. all the jokes, gives the teacher a hard time. Right, yeah. But as soon as the teacher gives him some good praise and compliments, Turn to a totally different kid, man. Look at him. Look at him, man. You got to be proud of uh, yeah. Kevin Bless in the ring. That might be what we're seeing. We saw <laughs> saw Bless. He's you know he's he's taking being champion very seriously. He feels oh, yeah. like he's got the weight of the city on his shoulders. He's out there doing media. He was on 92.9 mm -hmm. ESPN with me just recently with Jessica Benson, Benson show, show yeah. talking about you know being this young kid from Frazier, right? Growing yeah. up in Memphis, and all he ever wanted to do was hold up the belt. Yeah, a professional wrestler and here he is holding the top title in the territory he's yep. the 901 wrestling champion but here's a guy bobby ford we've watched from the beginning of his career mm -hmm. it started it's all about bobby man yeah it's it has become all about him and he, he's a live wire Another thing you said about Kevin Bless, man, in his reign to become the, uh, his, his, his journey to become the champion. Talking about a guy that when he was an 18-19 champion, maybe didn't embrace the city the way he should have, you know what I mean? But now, once since he lost that belt, I think he understands well, he now. Was, yeah. well, he was the 18-19 champion of the world. The right? other world, I'm sorry. Now yeah. he's yeah, now he's representing the 901. Yeah, yeah. But Bobby, that title changed him. You know, do you, you, we talk oh, about sure. we, we do seem like I don't think I mean, we've seen this gradual embrace of Bless here in 2024. But once and we've seen this immediate change, change with Bobby, of Bobby, once, he, once he touched that title, he seemed to have changed. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, it's, and now he's trying to get it back here for, for what would be the uh, third time in his career, uh, which is he really was. You know, he was rookie of the year when he started. Oh, it came in on fire. They just turned his back on the crowd, man. Once he, like you said, once he tasted that championship goal, it changed him. They say, power, wants, yeah, they say power and success can change a man, though, so, you know, We definitely saw it with Bobby Ford. And it's changing. It looks like it's changing Kevin Bless in a good way, man. 
it's interesting. Two polar opposites on what mm -hmm. the uh, on uh, career paths for these two guys, but both of them here in in the main event for that 901 Wrestling Championship. Yeah, here in Minglewood Hall, man, like we've been saying all night, crowd has still been electrified all night long, man, here in Minglewood. But you know, Blessing got something to prove here tonight. He was, he was the longest reigning 1819 champion of all time. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's got you know he's got to prove that this wasn't just a playing the wild card that yeah. got him where where he is right. He's in the main event picture now, mm -hmm. and beating Bobby Ford will definitely. Uh, whoa, is he going Ooh. for a roll up right now? This is it. Oh, trying to get another one. Oh, not quite. Bless again, not wasting an opportunity nah, here. He's going at him, man. And it seems to be wearing Bobby out as he's getting to the corner and trying yeah. to escape, but he can't. Ooh, landing on him. Ooh. In one moment. Ooh. Elbow from Bobby. One thing you got to say about Bless, man, even though with all the, the dirty stuff he was doing throughout the year, throughout his, you know, transition to where he is now, he's been a great wrestler, Kevin Spillo. You can't, you can't take that from him at all. But we've never said, like, we always, he is one of the smartest guys yeah, man. in the locker room, right? Bobby got him up top. Ooh. He is a student Ooh. of the game. Big knee to the face by Bobby Ford, man. And there's no one like Bobby. I mean, he's the true, no. I mean, like, uh, like uh, Bless. I mean, there's nobody like Bobby either, but, like, nobody like Kevin Bless. He's the true one of one. And all you got to do is, is listen to him talk oh, for man. one minute, the experience. and you'll know. The Kevin Bless experience, man. It's, it's like none of them. Kids getting free today saying you mentioned yeah. it earlier, probably. Uh, quite a few of Bless's kids, kids in are the probably house in there, yeah. I, I've seen a lot of ladies I've never seen before here before. I'm assuming those have to be one of Ken, several of uh, Kevin Bless's baby moms. Yeah, they're, they're, a lot of people excited about kids getting Ooh. free, but especially a guy like Kevin Bless. Yeah. But the referee going down here. Nobody probably cast in as many kids getting in freeze as Kevin Bless. Tonight. You know his kids, they're here. They got in free. They want to see. Their dad win. Their dad win. Low blow. Ooh. We don't want to see it end like this saying. Every champion so far tonight has retained, right? The tag oh, champs yeah, yeah, retained. 1819 yeah, yeah. yeah. champions still retained. in the hand of the Merc. Bobby now. Low blow. Ooh. High voltage DDT. Yeah, it is. He said That's it's what over, was Sarita. won the belt for him before. Can he do it again? The referee out. No referee. No referee. No three count if the ref is out. One. Oh. Blast kicked out. Just in the nick of time. Oh, oh come my on God. now. This is going to. Oh, no ref? There was no. Oh, man, this that's is, crazy. This is, this is grounds for disqualification. That man you crashed out, do man. do this. That man crashed out, Zerino. What is he doing? He's slipping. We've seen this before. This guy tried to assault me on this oh, stage. Oh, yeah, he so did, man. That man just attacked has, the rim. In a half a second. Man, that man out of control, bro. Got to get another ref out here or something, man. This dude is sick. What is he doing? Is he leaving? No, he's not leaving. He's got, he he's got the He belt. is leaving. He's got the belt. He's not the champion. There was no man, three Man, I thought that man was going to break out. Who is this? What? Look, Serena, look. Shane 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 He's the guy who just beat Bobby for that belt. Rips it out of his hands. The referee is, is out on the floor. Oh, Bless going to finish God. him off here. Wow. He caught all of them with me, though. Shane has grabbed the belt back, returned it to the timekeeper's table. Bless. Now back in control. Is he going? Like he about to go up top. I think real. he's going to the top. You know what this uh -oh. can mean. Uh oh. You know what this can uh -oh. mean. Uh oh. Here he goes. Bless will fly. Swan Tom oh. bomb. Swan Tom bomb from Bless. Still now no Bless going for the cover. We got a rip. There we go. We got a rip. Is there? One, two, three. That's it. Yes, sir. Bless retains.
Well, that was fun, Sane. Let's do it again. Yeah, man. It looks like uh, I think we'll be all right over here in Minglewood, man. I think it's going to be okay, man. We got a great main event we just watched, man. Kevin Bless retaining the championship. Make some noise with Kevin Bless, y'all. Make some noise for him. Oh, the, man. The great, champ great, making great. his rounds here. Hey, so, uh... <laughs> good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. You can hear him screaming right now. Uh, congratulations. All, right, all, all, all right. the champions retained tonight. All the champions tonight. kept their belts. All the champions kept their belts. I tell you what, what y'all think about Mega Wood Hall, man? Y'all, what's up? Y'all want to y'all wanna do this again maybe another month? October the... October 20th. 20th? We're yeah, back why not? on October why not? Why not? 20th uh, with the start of the 901 Wrestling Classic. Uh, be sure to grab your grab pocket schedules. We got free pocket schedules being handed out on your way out of here. Grab so make one. sure as you leave, you grab your pocket schedule. It's got all the upcoming dates uh, that are on the calendar, and you can put them on your calendar. Yes, sir. So you can uh, plan your fall around uh, being here at Minglewood Hall and some 901 wrestling. But, y'all, this is your wrestling show. We say it all the time. Uh, we could not do this without y'all. We really appreciate you following yes, us sir. here to mingle what thank you so much everybody uh, for coming out here tonight please travel home safely and uh, enjoy the rest of your week stay connected on social media and we will for anthony saying and everybody here at 901 wrestling i'm kevin serino saying so long we will see you around the territory